Did you know that you already have free cookies ready to be made in your pantry? Hey, who doesn't love a good free cookie? And good thing is, these ingredients are already in your pantry. You can even whip these up real quick while you're making your dinner. And if you need any dinner ideas, be sure to check out this playlist right here or at the end of this video. The first thing you're going to do is measure out one cup of brown sugar, or if you don't have brown sugar, you can easily use one cup of granulated sugar. Next is one teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're going to add one cup of peanut butter, which I know you all have to make those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if you could make this with crunchy peanut butter. Someone needs to let me know if they try that out down below. And then the last uh, ingredient is one large egg. All right, and then you're going to mix it all together. The consistency will start to take shape after you mix it for a bit. Once you start to doubt if the batter is actually going to work, that's when it's gonna start thickening up. <laughs> See, it's taking a bit to thicken up here, probably about one minute or so. After it's all thickened up, go ahead and grease your baking sheet. Now I used a spoon because I didn't want to get too messy with my hands. It is a bit sticky. So I just scooped it out into a ping pong ball size-ish. Um, you can use one of those cookie scoops, roll it into the ball in your hands and place it on the greased baking sheet. If you are needing another quick and simple dessert, check out my Cherry Squares video, another dessert with only six ingredients. Once they are all done, if you want to be a little extra fancy, you can do the fork thing that I'm doing here, or if you simply just don't want to, you don't have to do it. You're gonna bake these cookies uh, in the oven at 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes and be amazed at how big and fluffy they're going to get. Then voila, they are ready to go. Let them cool a bit before taking them off the baking sheet and do be careful taking them off. They are a bit fragile. These are great after a savory meal and as you can see, they're super quick to make. Well, that is it for me. Thanks for stopping by my little corner of YouTube. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you on the next one.